Welcome, I'm LJ, and this is Raven Gale Turo on A1R Psychic Radio. To reach me directly, you can go to ravengale.com, that's R-A-V-E-N-G-A-Y-L-E.com. We are taking live calls as they queue up. I thought we'd do a three-card reading from the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. In the past position, we have the Nine of Cups reversed. And this card has the image of a hillside in the south of England, the Tower of Glastonbury. Floating above the lake below are nine gold goblets with poppy and clover growing out of them. In the past, the client has made decisions that were not in their best interest. Friendships have been neglected, time has been squandered, finances poorly invested and spent unwisely. In the present position, we have the Tower. And this card depicts a tower on the night of a full moon being struck and destroyed by lightning. The tower that is depicted is in Glendalough, County Wicklow in Ireland. The client is experiencing unexpected change that is rearranging the landscape of their life. And then in the future position, we have the hermit, represented as the shaman. This card shows a man wearing their deer hide sitting before a cauldron on a fire. The shaman is beating a drum. Behind him stands his familiar, a wolf. It is nighttime. And the client is going to withdraw from their society to reevaluate and consider the changes that have come. And uh, so with this, um, the, this particular deck, the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin, has uh, has imagery pulled from different locations within England. So that's why I'm able to talk about the places that are depicted on the cards. So looking a little bit further, I'll go ahead and pull a card for today to see what energy it is that we're all that we're all working with to look for a daily message. And today's card is a marvelous card to have, and it is the Ten of Cups. And it is from a new deck that I have um, that was gifted to me by a friend. And you have a couple standing there looking at the sky at the Ten Cups that are up there. And this is uh, this is a very good uh, omen for things to come. Uh, it is the ultimate happy card. And I see we do have a live caller. We have Ancho in Toronto, Ontario. Hello, Ancho. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. How could I help you today? Oh, <laughs> I think uh, I'm just going through a couple of things right now, and I thought probably a reading could help to just get a direction. Well, I hope so. What question do you have for me? So, um, I just have some legal cases going on right now, and uh, they're pretty big. And uh, I'm not okay. sure where where they're going to take me. <laughs> okay. Understandable. Let's take a look at the legal cases that Anshal is currently working through. Show me the legal cases that Anshal is working through. Oh my goodness, these cards are going everywhere. Um, <laughs> so I'm putting down three cards to, to get us started here. And in the past position, I have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is someone who has faced their fears by going into the, essentially, it's a, it's a ritual cave that they go through where they face their fears very much like that scene. I don't know if you've seen Star Wars, but where Luke Skywalker goes into goes into the cave and meets his father and comes out the other end after that experience. And so that's very much what the Hierophant is, uh, is, is about. And I'm holding that card up so that you can see it later when it's posted, um, when the video is posted. And then in the present, I've got the two of, or excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, and that would be you. 
along with the Two of Pentacles, which shows a uh, man juggling um, two pentacles. And in essence, you're, you're dealing with a difficult situation, um, but it is doable. Uh, and the resources are there in order for in order for you to be able to move forward with this. And then what you have coming after that in the future is the four of wands reverse. And so essentially what I'm seeing with that is, is that there are going to be delays. This is not something that's going to be resolved as quickly as you would like. Um, and I have, I've, I've laid out a couple other cards that, uh, that would tell me a little bit more, and I need to put out one more. There we go. Uh, so I think what you're going to find is you've got the Eight of Cups, uh, and I'm going to hold that card up as well, and you have uh, Eight Cups standing, and you have a man walking away, not, not looking at the cup. So, and cups are about your fulfillment. Um, this is indeed a very difficult case, uh, in, in some cases with temperance also present, um, and temperance is an angel holding two, two cups, one of water and one of flame, and in essence mm -hmm. what we have here is trying to, trying to make something out of two incompatible materials, and it's upright to you, so I think that this is going to go in your favor. It's just you're not necessarily going to be happy um, completely with the results that come with it because you've got the Page of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Wands reversed. And that would be a young person and probably their father between the ages of 20 and 30 with the Six of Cups reversed. And that's the uh, difficulty making decisions. Um, uh, how... Um, and I'm trying to determine how this applies to your case to be able to tell you to tell you a little bit more about this as it's unfolding. Like, um, like you you need some more information, or yeah, is this is this a case that's involving a, a young man and and a child, or are they are they people um, people who are, are otherwise affected in this case? No, it, it is a young guy, but there's no child or anything. Um, okay. It's a property matter, basically. Nothing okay. about uh, it's majorly a property matter, and the other party is a young guy. I think between late twenty or thirties, I guess. Okay, so that would that would fit your your Knight of Wands reverse. Um, looking here, I put down a few more cards. I, I do think that you are going to get a positive result, but it's not going to be the result that you're looking for. Uh, is it going to be in a um, coming like next six months or going to be delayed further than that? Okay, I'll pull a card for timing. And that is uh, comes up as the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles, let's see, that's going to be in weeks, and night is going to be around 12 weeks. So I'm going to say probably about three months is is where you're going to see resolution. Mm. Three months, okay. And you, right, you, and... Have, <laughs> you have more than one legal situation that you'd like to ask about? Yeah, there are a couple of us going. I don't know. It's a downpour right now. <laughs> oh my all the legal situation. <laughs> what's the, what's the um, other one that you would like to know about? Another one is uh, my divorce case. It's, it's just pending, and I've just filed all the paperwork now, uh, and I'm just okay. waiting for the judge's uh, order. You know, so I'm not sure what side it will go. Would I get the order or? I'll get the rejection, so I don't know about that. It's okay. been going on for like five years now, four years now. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that should hopefully be a soon for you. Let's take a look at what's happening with Anshul's divorce. Okay, 
Okay, so the first card, I'm going to put out another three cards. This one having to do with your, do with your divorce. And I think you're going to get out of that divorce what you're looking for. And the reason why I say that uh, is uh, I can see in the past you had the star reverse, which has to do with, uh, that has to do with a very difficult situation, uh, probably mm -hmm. a bit of depression. Uh, and then in the present, you've got the Six of Pentacles. So that has you in the position of being able to make decisions with your finances and, and be able to, to pretty much, um, uh, you're, you're not necessarily encumbered by it. And then in the future, yeah. you've got the Ten of Cups, which is the ultimate happy card. So I really do believe that you are going to get the, get the results that you are looking for with your um, with your with your divorce proceedings here, I did put up a timing card because I, I anticipated that question, yeah. and I have a page of wands, and wands uh, wands tend to deal with months, so this isn't going to happen very soon for you with the page of wands. Uh, I do see that we're coming up on, on a minute here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak rather quickly. Um, other influences yep. that you have, you've got the Six of Swords reverse, the Page of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune once again. It's a very positive card to have, so I do think you are going to get what you want out of the divorce. And then you've got the Two of Pentacles reverse, so any uncertainty about material items is going to fade with the outcome. Okay. And the timing you said is going to be soon, like anytime um, soon. <laughs> no, it is not going to be anytime soon. And I'm sorry, we're down to like about 30 seconds here. Yes, sure. So I and I do thank you for tuning in and for your personal reading. You can well, find me you. at ravendale.com. You're very welcome. Thank you for calling. And you can also message me on Facebook at Raven Gale to row. Until we talk again, may you and yours have the best of happiness. With thanks, blessed be.